Hello, this is Laura Croft, and in this video, Mr. Evil Cheese is going to be reviewing my new toy. I sure hope he likes it, because if he doesn't, I'm going to take my new rock climbing hook, and then I'm going to hook it into his eye socket and rip his bloody head off. Hello, this is Mr. Evil Cheese, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Collector's Edition Tomb Raider Laura Croft figure. That's the one that came with the collector's edition of the new game that just came out. I might just go over the other stuff that's in there too. I'm not actually going to review the game though because I haven't played it yet. I just freaking got it. But, okay, I'm going to go over the toy first and then maybe... Ah, well, you know what? I'll just open the damn thing up and you can see what's in it. And then I'll go over the toy and then I will like go over everything else in it except for the game. So, yeah. Ah! Hi! Okay. So here's how it looks when you first get it, except that mine had shrink wrap on it, but I ripped that off already because I've already been through this thing. I'm just pretending like I haven't already opened it. So, okay, here we go. This is just a kind of like a fake cover here. Let me get this shit off. It's kind of stuck on there, so yeah. Yeah, that cover's pretty cool there. Look at that. Ooh, nifty. I like that picture. Okay, here's the can. Tin can. It's pretty sweet. It's this flower kit. That was my phone. Ignore that. Yep. There's the case. Pretty cool. Then you open it up and all kinds of shit flies out everywhere. Okay, you got this. The original soundtrack. I don't even know what the music in this game sounds like yet. And you got uh, something. Oh. Okay, what's this poster? Mm. We have to zoom out on this thing. Come on. Okay. What is this? A map? Oh, it's kind of a. Whatever. Yeah. And there's a poster on the back. I like that picture. Same picture, but it's the other picture, but I like the picture. It's a cool picture. Picture, picture, picture. picture. Okay. Yeah. Then you get this thing. Uh, what is this? Lithograph. That's what I thought it was, but I wasn't sure. Um, yeah. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Maybe I'll hang it up in the badass video game action figure party. On the wall, yeah. And what's this? Patches? Couple patches. Open. You got a picture of a a really deformed whale shark creature or something. Yeah, whatever. I think I'm pretty sure that's a little pick thing she uses. It looks like an arrow with flame on it. And some kind of bird. It's pretty cool. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these, but it's cool. There's the game. Yep. Okay, then you got this thing. And it works. Oh, there we go. Right. And there's the toy. Okay, get her out of there. Hmm, boom. I could use that for stuff that I would need foam for. Lay down in case. Okay, I'll just sit back to you. Okay. Freaking tall. Now I'm gonna turn this off a second. I got a back up. Okay, I turned the camera off while I was opening it, and I just want to show you how they package these because that's kind of neat. <laughs> they got them each in their own individual little thingy. I already got these two out, but I'll go over the accessories first once I get all these out of here. Okay, before I go over the accessories, I'm just gonna go over. Well, not go over, just like give you a quick look at the actual figure. Okay. Pretty cool. See a few problems with the paint. I'll go over that in a bit though. Okay, on to the accessories. First off, she comes with three alternate hands. And uh, you got two right hands. Uh, they're just, I guess they're just used for the different weapons she's carrying and she also has this left hand it's all bandaged up 
Not sure what happens to our left hand, but something must happen to it in the game. So, I guess I'll see that when I play it. Alright, she comes with a little pistol, which I think will go into this holster here. Whoop. Yes, it is. Could you believe that? And she's got this shotgun. Apparently, somebody injured her shotgun, and she wrapped it up to stop it from bleeding, too. Look at that. I don't want my shotgun bleeding everywhere. What is this little thing? I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'll figure that out some other day. But it's a cool little shotgun. Stick it in her hand there. Hold your shotgun. Okay. She comes with this little rock climbing pick. I'm not sure what you call them exactly. This, I'm glad they included this because when I seen the preview for this figure and I wanted to... Uh, pre-order it I didn't see this in a picture I mean, I'm like man I seen her in the previews using that I wish they would have included it and then I seen the list somebody listed off of what she comes with and this wasn't on the list they listed all the other weapons but not this and I'm like man why don't they put that in there because I know it comes with the regular version of this toy it's not the collector's edition so it's in there so that's cool that they have that and the last thing or thing things is the uh, bow and arrow and uh, that's pretty nifty good luck oh it actually fires <laughs> I didn't think about it actually fire I shoot her damn it it's missed the travel of time gonna shoot you Laura it's gonna die damn it whatever uh, I guess her arrow can go in there turn away maybe that's where a shotgun Okay, our hands in there too. <laughs> That's where she keeps her extra hands. Yeah, there she is with her bow and arrow. You have your little Katniss impersonation by Lara Croft. Oh, oh, I actually don't remember what Katniss says. She just kind of shoots things. And yeah, this is a very posable figure, so. Very easy to get her in bow shooting positions. Okay, overall, I would say I like this figure. It's cool, but my biggest complaint that I've seen since I've taken it out is the paint and the color. And uh, I don't know how well this is gonna show. I might have to change my lighting. Try this here. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> More light, maybe. Okay, hold on, let me try to get this light situation. Okay, that's a little better. Um, as you can see, the paint on her face is just kind of odd, like, around her eyes and stuff, around her hair, she's got that smudge look, but then it looks super white, like around, all around her nose and mouth and up on her forehead, it's just like extremely white, to the point that I might just have to touch it up, or it's going to bother me, just weird paint on her face there, or lack of. And also, it's very noticeable on the joints for her elbows. Elbows, because it's a very different color than her skin. So I'm probably going to try to touch it up. Then it's hard to get paint to stay on joints. But it's possible, so I'm going to try it. But I think that's the only thing that bothers me with the paint on this. So, yeah, maybe that lighting's even better. Like that, it's a little easier to see what I mean by the uh, discoloration and the elbows again. Yeah, that's just odd, but still, it's a cool toy. Um, ah, the dirt effect's pretty cool. It looks like she does in the game dirty, as I called in my one badass video game party. She's a dirty face, Laura, and uh, I'll probably have a response from Laura Croft about the figure towards the end of this. So, what should I go over? Uh, sculpt, I guess. So yeah, this is only my second Play Arts, Kai, whatever you call them, toy. My first one that I got was the uh, Arkham City, or no, Arkham Asylum Joker. And I wasn't completely happy with that because of his face paint also. Because it was just all, looked like they smeared gray paint on his face. Still, it's a very poseable toy, and if I touched it up, I think it would look pretty cool, but this isn't about that. This is about her. So, 
I'm gonna go for Sculpt now. Sculpt is pretty cool. It's uh, it looks like her from the game, although I don't think the face is perfect. I'll try to get a comparison face. Like, I don't know. It's just she looks a little. I don't know, I think it might just be the style of play arts because I noticed a lot of their toys, like the other Arkham City and Arkham Asylum toys I made, like Harley Quinn and uh, Catwoman, both had sort of that Japanese hint of anime type style to it. And I think that's sort of what's going on here with her. She just has that little bit of anime ish style thrown in there. Whether they intentionally do that or they just can't help it, I don't know. But. That's what I think of that. Why aren't you focusing? She's a little bulky in the shoulders, but I think that's mostly due to the uh, ball joint, extra posability, stuffness, and still, it's it looks pretty cool. She looks tough. She's supposed to look a little tough, and uh, I don't know the shirts. The shirt looks pretty cool. I like the way. I did this. Well, maybe I don't. <laughs> I'll go over that when I do articulation. But, um, jeans. Lots of detail on these pants here. Lots and lots of detail. The buttocks look a little funny. <laughs> like they're going to explode or they're dripping or dripping butt cheeks. Um, the boots are pretty cool. All them little rivets and things on there. No, got that bandage. Pretty detailed hair. Some sculpts are decent overall. They're just little things like the uh, the butt is just kind of funny looking, and uh, like the sort of animeish face isn't exactly accurate to the game. But I think they tend to do that with these play arts toys, so you gotta expect that. And um. Well, go over articulation now. Okay, yeah, she's very articulated. Play arts as I've seen in pics and shit, and also in reviews, and also in the Joker I have, is they're very poseable. The head spins around. Uh, the ball joint on the shoulder. She also spins like right here on the arm. She's got the uh, elbow, which can also spin, can't it? I believe it can spin. Yes, it can spin. It's a little tight. And this can spin there. The wrist can spin, move all around, because there's a ball jump. The other arm does the same thing. So you turn at the torso. Whoa. <laughs> you can see inside of her. It's kind of weird. Interesting. Okay. But she can move around there. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Strange. Um, and it looks like she could turn up here. Just what I was talking about. I mean, it really looks like she's supposed to be articulated. Oh, that's what she does. Okay. I thought she was supposed to turn there. She don't really turn. She just kind of leans forward so you can get boob shake in action. Hey boys, hi, hi. <laughs> okay, that's creepy, but that was my intention. Okay, and the uh, very good snapping joint for the legs there. Can bend out, snap in place. Double joint on the knee, which has snaps, snap in place. Damn, she kick you straight in the face. Okay, what does she do? Her ankle spins around and also moves like that and has a snapping joint. Don't know if it moves with this boot here. Almost. No, it doesn't move there. Just down here in the boot, but not up here. Uh, what else does this do? Another leg does the same thing, I would imagine. Yep, basically the same thing. So it's a very articulated figure. You can make her do all kinds of shit, man. Make her a freaking ninja. Crouch down. Put the 
Pikachu in her hand and be like, Because that's the sound she makes when she shoots her hair. So that's a pretty cool toy. I think the buttocks thing I was talking about is just that they're made for her in a certain position, like maybe that. But you get her in another position and it just looks funny, but that kind of stuff happens with lots of female toys. They just kind of... Their feminine shape is hard to keep with articulation, which is why a lot of female toys are not very articulated. But this one is, so you kind of got to expect it to have some funny shaped areas and she does have some but I guess uh, I really like this toy it's pretty cool I don't think it's going to be in my badass video game action figure party because she is a little bit too tall because the Lara from NECA is already kind of tall and this one's even taller so she's going to dwarf everybody and I don't want anybody that big you know, if I had a version of everybody in the badass figure action figure, pff, badass video game action figure party from Play Arts, then I could do that, but that'd be a lot of money. And I don't even know if they make them all. They make most of them, but I don't think they make them all. I don't think they have Duke Nukem. I'm not sure. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm going to put her in a few different poses with her weapons so you can kind of get an idea of what she could do. Okay, there she is with her shotgun. Get ready to shoot the shit out of somebody. Because that's what shotguns do. There she is with both guns. Not one more mecha. I wouldn't recommend shooting that way, but she's gonna do it. There she is with her uh, little hook. Damn it. With her little, uh, what do you call that, little rock climbing hook. Pretty cool. And there she is, getting ready to shoot arrow. Pew, 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 pew. Sound effects. So here's Laura Croft to uh, give her opinion on this new Laura Croft. You are the most beautiful thing I have ever seen in my entire life. You're not so bad yourself. Dear God, you're sexy. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, harder. Yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think she likes her. So, yep, that's pretty badass Laura there. Dirty Face Laura from the new game, Collector's Edition. Pretty cool. I say pick one up if you can get one. I don't know if it's too late, probably not. But, yeah, I like it. Lots of Lots of accessories. And, um, yeah, pretty detailed, very articulated. Just gotta touch up that paint a little. This is Mr. Evil Cheese. And I'm still alive even though I fell on the floor. And thanks for watching. But yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Uh. This is Mr. Evil Cheese. Click on one of the- ah! I told you there would be consequences. How dare you insult my paint job. Uh, there's little pictures over there. You can click on one of those to watch the video. Or you could click on the badass video game action figure party, which I am the star of and I need more fans. So go watch it. And I'm going to need my weapon back as soon as you pry it loose from your eye socket.